Claudio Monteverdi, born 1567, was an Italian composer, string player, and choir master. He is often cited as a key figure in the transition from the Renaissance to the Baroque style in Western music. His innovative approach to composition and vocal writing had a lasting impact on the development of opera and church music. Monteverdi was born in Cremona, Italy, where he was also educated. He showed early promise as a musician, and his first published works appeared when he was just 15. His early works are primarily madrigals, a form of secular vocal music. Monteverdi's contributions to the genre reveal an innovative use of harmony and a keen understanding of emotional expression, demonstrating the move from Renaissance polyphony to a more modern Baroque style. He was employed at the court of Mantua as a vocalist and violinist, eventually becoming the music director there. During this period, he wrote some of his most famous madrigals, as well as his first operas, including Orfeo, 1607, which is one of the earliest works recognized as an opera. Orfeo was a landmark in the history of music, with its blend of dramatic narrative, expressive vocal writing, and instrumental color setting new standards for theatrical music. In 1613, Monteverdi became the Maestro di Capella, chief musician, at St. Mark's Basilica in Venice, one of the most prestigious musical posts in Italy. Here he wrote a number of significant works in the sacred genre, including Masses and Vespers, his Vespro della Beata Vergine, 1610, commonly referred to as the Monteverdi Vespers, is considered one of the most magnificent works of sacred music from the period. Monteverdi's music was characterized by its emotional intensity, its often daring harmonies and melodies, and its innovative use of both vocal and instrumental forces. His work set the stage for the more highly organized and intricate compositions of the later Baroque period, influencing composers like Heinrich Schütz, Henry Purcell, and even J.S. Bach. He continued to be productive in his later years, including producing operas for the public opera houses that were opening in Venice. When he died in 1643, he left behind a body of work that had a profound influence on the history of music. His ability to bridge the gap between Renaissance and Baroque styles, his mastery of both secular and sacred forms, and his pioneering work in the development of opera, make him one of the towering figures in Western music history.